welcome to our interview in Thank your you. future new gym, let's say. And you are going to play the games hopefully next year in here. Uh, so after how many years you are going to play in your own gym? Uh, I don't know. Me, I think we, I'm here in Wakibang for eight years. So this is my eight years, but I don't know. I mean, no, no, in Wakibang, Wakibang this is going to be the first. The first time we will, I will not play in Buran <laughs> <That's laughs> So how be. do you feel about this gym? No, I think it's, it's very nice to have our gym because I mean, I think what, what we did in these years is pretty amazing and we are really making making a lot of great things in, in, in volleyball, in Turkish volleyball, in Europe volleyball, in the world. And But if you see our really our our gym where we are training every day, you really are almost shocked. I remember the first time I came to Gunas, they, they bring me in our old gym <laughs> and I said, OK, so but where is our gym? You know, <laughs> because I was thinking just for something for school. So, but also, I, I also, I love this little gym because actually I spent so many hours in, in my life. I mostly all my life in that little gym. But it's pretty amazing what they're doing here and will be, from what I, 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 I learned and from what I understood, will be something very special. It will be eight floor gym and with really everything and we'll put also very sophisticated things inside for training. I think will be one of the best gym in the world for sure, according to what I saw until now. So this year the league started very good for Wakuf Bank and then the Champions League and now there is a break and you will go and coach the whole national team. Unfortunately, <laughs> we will play against each other. But uh, how do you see Wakuf Bank this year? I like a lot. I like a lot. It's really, we changed a lot the team from, from last year and it is, I mean, it's very young. Mostly it's very young and, and a lot of players that come for, for the first time in, 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 this, in this league, in this team, in this competition and the atmosphere in the team is really good and really all the players are, are, are extremely motivated and happy. We are working hard and everybody come here to become better, come here to improve, come here to make a step in the career. So that's why I think everything has become very easy. Also our staff is, is, pretty, is pretty amazing. So we have assistant coach of, of national team of of United States, Jamie Morrison, plus we have, you know, Gianni and Saim from National Team of Turkey, plus we have new athletic trainer, Vanni Miale, it's, it's really, it's really everything, everything is working very, very, very well, I like a lot and it's, it's fun, it's really a fun team to coach. So, like, you have many important players in Wakuf Bank and you are trying to make them, give them time in every game and like every game Wakuf Bank plays with different players. How do you balance it? It's not easy, but also at the end it's not so complicated because I have really a lot of good players. So basically, I, I'm changing the player, but the result don't change so much. You know, of course, I, I, I cannot play with, uh, I, when I play against um, Fener, Exagi, Galatasaray, I try to play with, with, the, with the team that in that moment is the most fit on my eyes. But all, all, other, all other matches, whoever I put in the court, I have great performance because Mostly because really we have a lot of great players, so it's difficult even to, to find, you know, who are the starting six, who are the bench players. So it's really, uh, we created a team that I think this year, I mean, all, all year was like this, but this year is really young. And so really also, I mean, everybody's still very motivated who is in the court, who is outside the court. And when I give this chance to play, you know, everybody wants to show their best because they know that they don't have 20 matches, you know, but they have 10 matches. So they want to do great in these 10 matches that, that I give and everybody is extremely happy to do that. So, and I think this is our, our secret, is our key, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching also, I think that Bucky Bank is doing that in the last, in the last years. Now I, I saw also other, other big teams that are starting to do like that. And really we have the luck that we can change a lot, you know, and the result don't change so much. Other team, for example, even if they're changing, have to play always a key player. But to us, we can manage because, because we have a lot of key players. So like the, you transferred Jamie Morrison from US national team as the second coach. So how did you plan it? He, when we did the interview with him, he said that you asked him to come uh, every year, but now this year he's here. Yes, yes. I mean, I always like to have great assistant because first of all because so I can learn something 
and second because to give to the player a different a different point of view from a different culture of volleyball so we are at the, at the end we are all european so we know very well what's going on in europe but but it's very very interesting and and very useful to have something that come from 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 america from of course from japan so three years ago i had gen kawakita the assistant coach of japan national team also was an amazing experience we learned a lot from him and this year came, came jamie morrison and and also we are learning a lot from him so it's, i think it's great and yeah that's true he came also last year last year he came one week to watch our training and then i start to ask him to, that, that he can come to make assistant coach that, that he can come to help and it was not easy to him to balance you know because it's a pre-olympic year so they are also pretty busy in the united states but then also i think according to the big number of american players that are playing europe i catch Gralis said him yes and so we are very happy that he's here so now when we look at Book of Bank, the foreigner players, mostly all of them change. Maybe Rasic State and Sheila and Robin, but the other ones are changed. And you uh, choose the younger ones. Is there a point of choosing the younger foreigner players? Yeah, I, I think that comes from, from three points. The first point is, of course, budget. So I think that, that, that if you watch our starting six this year, I think is maybe the, the cheapest in the team that want to win Champions League. Second, second is that uh, I, I want uh, we want to create a team that play different and that play quick and they play very fast. So, so, so to have the, the team that play very quick, very fast, not that all players are not able to do, but it's more difficult to change the style of a player that is 30 years old than to change the style of a player that's 20 years old. So we wanted to, to have players that are very open to change, they're very fresh and young, and they can learn quick and also they are already able to play quick, for example, I mean. Kimberly, uh, Kimberly already play, used to play very quick. All the players are learning to play quick, you know, and also all other players are following. And, and the third reason is that I, we want really fresh mind. We want people that, that come here with a lot of um, with a lot of hunger. So they, they, I want people that come here to win something, not people that came here already with thousand cup, thousand medal, you know, we want people that, that came here to win something important and people that didn't never win Champions League, for example, there are many players that actually, they, not, not only they didn't win Champions League, but they didn't even play Champions League, you know, and so that I think are the three, the three main reasons. Okay, so now the, in January you are going to play the, the Olympic qualification in Ankara and you are going to play against Turkey like in the European Championship. In the European Championship after the, the win, uh, the, the things that you did, let's say you scream, you normally were happy that winning Turkey, but it's going to happen in here in Ankara also, if you win. Yeah, I mean, it's not the first time uh, I, I get this question, and actually every time I'm surprised, like, like the people, you know, don't, don't know me enough. So, especially here in Turkey, everybody saw me after, after we won something very important, you know, or sometime I was diving in the floor, sometime I was yeah, well, it's jumping, the club, it's the club team. you know, so, I mean, yeah, actually, I mean, the national team in the nation where is playing the European Championship, after five months of work with this big goal <coughs> and the team that, you know, didn't win nothing until that time, you know, reaching the final was something that was more than more than more than, than what I dream in my best dream I ever, you know, and the same the team. So that there was, was nothing, of course, there was nothing against Turkey and was just, you know, also was so intense. The, the third set was really, really full of emotion because we controlled the match pretty well. Then in the third set, almost we destroyed everything and we were point by point and was just kind of liberation, you know, like, oof, like, like really something we did it and it's finished. So it was absolutely, was according on my normal style to, to be in the match because I cannot be, I, I'm not, I'm not so cold when I'm in the match. So of course I, I'm inside the game and so was absolutely nothing against Turkey. I have really nothing. I mean, they are my player, my staff, the country where I'm living. So there is really nothing to, to, to be made of them at all. So in Ankara would be totally different because, I, I mean, Turkey in Ankara is, is, is I never, I, I don't remember a, a defeat in Turkey in Ankara. So they are playing always very, very well. They, 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 will, they will have maybe same of kind of spectators that we had in Holland. So 10, 12,000 people that, that, that will push for them and I think and they are already in training so all other team they will meet the first time the 25 of December and Turkey meet the 15 of December you know so and they have a really big advantage so I think that uh, in, in, in Ankara Turkey will be the big favorite but also we want to make a good tournament uh, but 
you know what what is frustrating about this tournament that I can I don't really know what will happen because I will know my player I will see my player in 10 days and who knows what they did if they are in a good shape if they are in bad shape if the team meet together good the team meet together bad you know this something very frustrating in the world of volleyball that's something that will change for the next Olympic finally because it's not possible that the most important tournament ever happen after 10 days of preparation and to, 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 to prepare you a European championship I had five months so it's really no there is no balance in the middle you know so but anyway I mean I, I there is nothing to complain we will go there for sure to, to try to reach one of the third three plays and I think we have we have big chance like a lot of other teams because <coughs> it's really in, unpredictable to say who can win this tournament because it's they are really at least six seven very strong teams it's going to be a small European Championship, kind of. Yeah, that would yeah. be more, 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 much more complicated than European Championship because there is only eight teams, so there are only the best eight, that except Serbia, and so and then you cannot mistake nothing because you just lose one match in the group and you are almost out for everything, you know. And so, and even you know to read the fourth place, and you don't get the third place means you are out forever, you know. So. It's really, really complicated tournament. It's the most complicated tournament, the most complicated qualification system in, in this. I think in the history of all sport. But what we can do? So we, something we cannot change. So we cannot complain about it. And you cannot change the referees in Turkish league. Uh, the tweets that you tweet about Naz and the, the referees. Uh, Everybody is complaining about the referees this season more than maybe last year or the year before. Yeah. Do you think there is a really big problem in the league about I think, the referees? I think there are problems for sure. And I mean, the, 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 the Turkish league is the league that in the last five, six years really, you know, was like a space shuttle, you know, from, from a good normal level became superstar level, you know, so really in, increased very, very quick. And of course, also the referee need time to adapt to this level. And of course, they are not professional, you know, they have other job and, and everybody understands that. About, there are two points. What I don't understand, really I don't understand, why a country that invests so much money in volleyball, so much, I mean, the club are investing much more than all other clubs in, in, uh, in Europe. Federation is the most rich federation in Europe. And why we don't play with challenge system? This makes me crazy, first of all, you know, because Poland play with challenge system, Italy play with challenge system. In every game. In every game. Mm -hmm. In every game. And they don't have, they have, I mean, a, a budget of a good Italian team is maybe 600,000 euros, 700,000 euros. A budget of good Turkish team is 7 million euros. So, how is possible we cannot afford the challenge system? For sure we can afford. Every club can, can, can spend some money for that. That's the first big point. They don't have, because it's complicated volleyball now. The ball is go very fast, the attackers are very strong. That's why they invent the challenge system. And I give you an example. In 10 matches in Turkey, I take five yellow cards. You know, in five months international volleyball, I take zero card. Why? I'm, I'm the same person. <laughs> Just because the challenge system take off every discussion. So in, out, okay. I think he's in, check. In, I write. A friend like before, out, you are right. Okay, so there is really stop of any discussion. That's the first point. The second point about that, I'm really, you know, it's funny to me because really I, I don't think there is and there was one better center in Turkey in the last many, many, many years. Blah, blah. So I just think that is make no sense. Of course, sometimes she make fault, and when it's clear, they have to whistle. But sometimes they really, they are so much they thinking before. Ah, this ball will be fault, and they are almost whistling before she made. And okay, that sometimes okay. I have it's to protect. I, I have to protect my player. No, it's not about Turkey. I think it's just it's just about you know that we want to be better. Everybody want want to make this league better. We are making everything to make this league this league better. I think that putting challenge system. I think in a country like Turkey will be really, really a joke. So they have to do. Okay. Thank you so much. Good Thank luck. Thank you. Good luck in the national team also in Vakuf Bank. And hopefully we will watch you in this gym when it's finished. They told me 2000, 
16, so next championship we will play here, and sounds pretty amazing now, <laughs> but, and, but I trust they are, they are working really hard and really, believe me, will be one of the best gym in all world because I actually I never saw gym of eight floor, even if in Japan, United States, Korea, Hong Kong, whenever I go, maximum they have two, three, four floor, but the gym of eight floor, I'm also curious to see what's going on, but looks pretty amazing and so we are excited to come in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.